this pack like that getting opened, cracked, unboxed, unsealed. A Cards with Michael production. Hello YouTube, welcome to Cards with Michael. Today we have a full box of Ultimate Masters. Ah, what a fun set to open. Can't wait to see that box topper. Today's box is completely sponsored by Blissful Bash, a fellow YouTuber as well. He's been doing box openings of Magic the Gathering. I don't know, I, I wanna say he's been around for only about two or three weeks. He has 150 some subscribers and you know, as a new YouTuber, he could use some more love. So I'll be posting a link to his uh, channel below. Just go click on it, check out a video. Honestly, just add a comment, watch any of his videos, leave a little comment. Did you like it? Did you not like it? How could he improve? What could he do to get you guys to go check out his videos as well? I don't know. Worth a shot. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead, open up this box. Ultimate Masters, man. Whew. I mean, have you guys, are you guys tired of Master Sets yet? Because I am very, very not tired of them. Like seriously, they're so exciting. All of them have their own like, you know, coolness factors, nostalgia factors. Ultimate, of course, is the newest one. It has a box hopper. We'll be opening one of these right now. And it's kind of just practice, right? Double Masters is kind of around the corner. August is in two months. That's like basically no time at all. All right. First, we have this box topper. We'll open that at the very end. Save it for the fireworks. Hopefully it's something really, really good. You never know. You never know. And let's get going. All right. Here's all the packs. Let's just start cracking. No, no specific randomization order because it's all for Blissful Bash. All for Paul. I rhymed there. <laughs> and we'll get started. The first pack. So I noticed, by the way, that the all of the Ultimate Masters that I have, at least, were made in Japan, printed in Japan. Um, so because of that, I believe they're all the the they'll all be a rare first. So here's our foil location crier, and a Sublime Archangel is our very very first rare. All right. All right. Kind of a, a little bit of a miss there to start. And also another thing that because these are Japanese printed, they're a little bit, um, how to say, it, the, the, the color isn't as saturated in this set. Uh, but I actually really like the, the clean feel of the cards. Um, it's definitely, if you're, you know, if you've only really cracked US packs, uh, it's definitely a different feel. Definitely a different feel. Oh man, what a set. I can't wait to draft this in person when, um, when you know everything get dies down or I don't know draft double masters I'm excited for that as well so we'll see let's see all right let's go ahead make our little piles and I'll keep rolling keep rolling okay so obviously you know there's a plenty of cool hits in this set we haven't seen too many on video yet but hopefully today hopefully today, today hey wow look at that um I don't know if I should be excited because this guy actually just got a chill down my spine thinking about it, but uh, can you imagine if that was you? You're just this pirate king with a big demon behind you. It's kind of like Death Note, but like, obviously this guy's a lot cooler than that kind of nerdy Asian dude. <laughs> All right. Demonic Tutor. What a sweet hit. What a great way to start. Love it. Hopefully the box hopper might be also a Demonic Tutor because that card is so good. So good. All right. Speaking of good tutors. Have you guys seen Grim Tutor? That thing got reprinted? What? What is that? That is insane. Actually, it's not insane. Honestly, nowadays, if it's not on the reserve list and the card is creeping anywhere above 40 bucks, like why wouldn't Wizards reprint it? it? Sells packs. It sells packs. All right. Pack number three. So far already, really, really cool. Really, really good box. Little foil kitchen finks here. Look at that. That beautiful foil. And a Sovereign of Lost Alara, Unstable Mutation. Oh, look at that. This guy, he's like becoming an octopus. What's going on? What's going on, bro? All right. Phalanx Leader. Ah, this guy. It's kind of like they literally took a snapshot from uh, the movie 300. You know what I mean? And Hero of Lena Tower. And of course, we got our comments. All right, all right, all right. Jeez. Ah, I never really got a chance to draft this set that much, so can you guys like tell me how much fun it was 
Tell me what you like to do in this set. I really don't know. I really don't know. All right. Here we go. Got a little token. Angelic Renewal is our foil. And a Seismic Assault. All right. Kind of a width here again. But still. Ventral Riff. Oh, the Seb McKinnon art. Yes. Wild Hunger. Plop, 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 plop. And of course we have our comments. I do see that there must be some type of madness theme because I do see like, uh, you know, cards that kind of resemble that. Uh, but I don't really know. What else? Uh, <laughs> what else is there? What else is there? All right. A little elemental token. Wild mongrel foil. An all star mac. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Right? He's just like. Oh man. Actually, no. He has kind of a smirk. So he's like. <laughs> Leobold, Emissary of Trest. What an all-star in Legacy, of course. The only format that he's, like, really legal in. Um, geez. Geez, look at that. This guy. He knows how to make a deal. He knows how to make a deal. If I ever were to start, like, you know, an MTG trading post or something, I'd probably use this art. This art's so sweet. Kind of just, like, put a picture of me going, like... <laughs> All right. All right, what a nice little first mythic hit, of course. And we'll keep rolling. Oh wait, let's show off these comments. All right, all right. So that was, uh, what, five packs in? Already got some spicy, spicy cards. Here's pack number six. Entering our first quarter of the box. A little foil conflagrate, all right. Spark elemental token, and then all is dust. Okay, all right, not too shabby. And of course we have some uncommons. And we got comments. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. Oh, man. So these are the Japanese packs. So they actually do have a, a pull tab here. I'll, I'll show you. It's kind of right there. You guys can see. But I'm so bad at using it. Like, I'm just... You know what? See, look at that. I'm so bad at using the pull tab. I tried to, like, rip it really hard. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. I believe this is pack number seven. Got our foil, fire and ice, and a celestial colonnade. All right, all right. Card was worth something before this reprint. Now it's not. It's not really seeing play as much in modern as it used to, but still, very, very solid card. Ancestors Chosen, Forbidden Alchemy, Sheree Shizo's Caretaker, and then we have our comments. All right. I do see Delve. I see um, Prowess, both in this card. Oh, wait, that's not a Prowess card. Sorry, this card. Um, as kind of uh, mechanics in the set, um, but I don't really know how to draft this set. I've only opened packs really before, uh, you know, last week as uh, single packs, little Squee, Goblin, Nabob. He's just like, what am I doing? I'm like cosplaying cards now. Anyways, <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll keep going. Shriekma, all right, I can't cosplay that one. Garna, the Blood Flame. Oh man, she looks like this Mongolian warrior. Jeez, I never realized that. All right, and an iridescent Drake. All right, all right. Very, very powerful. Really, really fun card. With, so there must be an aura sub team as sub theme as well, like Flight of Fancy. That's new graveyard. You can just put it onto your iridescent Drake when it comes in the battlefield. Oh man, that seems like value town, fun town. That's a town I want to go to. Definitely, well, wherever it is. In the USA, wherever, I will go to Value Town. Helioid's Pilgrim, another aura card. So maybe the aura deck is blue white, but but Boggles is usually a green card, so I don't know. Hey yeah, dig through time. Hmm. That's a spicy card. Look at that. So Delve is definitely a sub theme as well. Sweet, sweet. And fecundity. Oh, love that art. Love that art. That this type of art is uh I think in the artist Facebook page they call it like the sofa test. Which is basically, if you were put, to put this art, you know, above the sofa, and a non-Magic Gathering person, person, player, non, just someone who doesn't know Magic Gathering saw it, they could still appreciate it and kind of just be able to enjoy that art. Um, Fecundity definitely passes the sofa test. I think it's just beautiful, gorgeous art. All right. Frantic, frantic search. And of course, we have our other comments. Well, wow, it's a lot of Gurmag anglers I've seen. Must be a, like a comment. Like, I think we've seen like three or four already easily. You could easily pick up. Looks like two per person in her draft. Fairy Rogue Token. 
a foil mage ring network, kind of a storage land. And our second mythic, a dark depths. Wow. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy in a sleeve. I actually really like this version of it. I know it was originally printed in Cold Snap, but I think this one just carries that extra um, coolness factor. Of course, it has a, the hollow because it is, you know, a newer rare mythic. And it just has this ominous, you know, merit lodge. Lodge? Lage? Merit? Anyways. Oh, what a sweet card. What a sweet card. Second mythic. Not too shabby at all. Got our uncommons. And of course, our commons. Oh, hey, a little madness card. Rune snack. Oh, another cold snap card. Love that card. So, oh, Kodama's Reach. Yes, I'm all about Kodama's Reach. I'm also all about Cultivate. So when I saw that they reprinted that card. Feels good, Michael. <laughs> That's my version of uh, FGM. You know, feels good, Michael. And uh, obviously, you don't really, just, you know, it doesn't really relate to you unless your your name begins with an M. But hey, foil conviction. I have a lot of conviction that I will be playing Cultivate Kodama's Reach every single time they're they're illegal. Every single time they're able to be drafted, I drafted it all the time in Mystery Booster boxes. I drafted it all the time in Cube. I I'm a pack one pick one Cultivate type of guy. One could say I I'm quite cultivated. Yeah, that that sounded a lot better in my head before I said that. All right. And a little Daybreak Coronet. Hey, all right. Got that aura theme, like I mentioned. Talked about this card before. I'm a little sad that they reprinted it because it is not a very good card most of the time. All right, got our uncommons. And uh, here we go for our commons. Oh, and yeah, so this whole box is for Blissful Bash. I should talk about him a little bit more since, since he's sponsored the entire box. Um, he's been around for, you know, two, two and a half weeks, give or take. And, I, you know, he's obviously you know, has played Magic before. Um, but if you ever check out his older videos, little Foil Stitcher's Apprentice. Um, hey, a little Raging Ravine. You'll see that he's really improved his uh, video quality over over just the weeks. Um, and you'll see that, you know, all of us YouTubers, every day we're trying, we're trying our best. We're trying to figure out what makes the most sense, what makes good content, what makes you guys want to come back, want to watch our videos, what makes you guys enjoy our videos, you know? And what, what's the point of our videos? Is it to make you smile? Is it to make you laugh? Is it to make you just relax, um, have a good time? Or, you know, is it just because you literally like to see this, this, this pack like that getting open, cracked, unboxed, unsealed, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, you know, seeing the goodies, seeing the goodies, of course. And, oh, a little foil sigil of New Dawn. And what do you enjoy the most about that? Is it the... You know, the, the chance of hitting a mythic, or in this case, Tassigar the Golden Fang, otherwise known as really skinny, lanky guy. Or, you know, what is it that you guys enjoy? Um, leave it in the comments if there's something that you like that I do. Leave it in the comments if there's something that you like that I, or you don't like that I do. Um, and I'm always reading. I'm always trying to figure out, um, you know, what makes the most sense for you guys. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be making this channel if it wasn't, you know, for the fact that you guys love watching this kind of stuff. And, uh, I know that Blissful Bash will be watching as well. He'll be reading the comments, looking through, and just wondering, hey, what can I do to improve? That's kind of like a, we know there are so many bigger channels out there that have been around for years. Um, but the fact that you guys are here, hanging out, having a good time, it means a lot. It really, a little Eldrazi conscription. Oh man, I see. I forgot about this card. I see how this being an aura would be kind of funny. Where's that uncommon? Um, the Iridescent Drake, you just put this onto the Iridescent Drake and they're just like, oh no. <laughs> if they don't have a removal spell, they're going to be taking a ton of damage. Hey, Eternal Witness, that's actually a, a pretty sweet uncommon. Lens and another Boneyard Worm. Right, right. Stitch Drake, Scuzzbag, Treasure Cruise. Oh man, this must have been such a fun set to draft. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Oh. Blissful Bash, of course, has also been part of the Facebook family that I made. Um, you know, hangs out, talks every now and then, and uh, something that he also does. Ooh, got a little Fauna Shaman here. Another thing that uh, he does is um, he does booster box breaks as well, and I think he's been transi transitioning to live as well. 
Hey, got a little lava spike. Emancipation Angel. Magma. Oh, so many fun, fun hits like Magma. It's like an entire archetype to itself. Let me just show it again. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. Magma deals one damage to any target. That type of effect, it seems kind of innocuous, but at a certain point, especially if you're making a bunch of little tokens, um, you're, you know, with effects like this, Ekro and Crusader, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, create a 1-1 one, one red creature token. Um, what's funny is, an innocuous effect like that, just sacrifice a creature, deal one damage to anything, or sacrifice a non-land permanent, rather, um, it easily can add up. Like, it gets to the point where you can attack all your creatures, and all the ones that are blocked, you can sacrifice to deal one damage, and, you know, your opponent only has 20 health, it doesn't take a lot of damage to- Oh, This is foil! FOIL OF MANA VAULT! WOW! It's not a box topper, a little Glenelendra Archmage is our rare, but it's a foil mythic that sees play everywhere. It's legal in. And it is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me show the other cam. Look. Oh. This is so gorgeous. I, I need to sleeve this before I like do something dumb or something. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm so excited now to see what the box hopper is. We already hit a foil mythic. Mana Vault? Oh, man! Oh! And of course, the Glen Alendra Archmage. I don't really like this version of it as much as the um, the original printing. Um, but I do appreciate that they tried, because now you always have the option to buy the other printing, uh, or open the other printing. Um, but yeah, it's a little rare. Dawn Charm, Angel of the Spirit, Downshifted, Sleight of Hand, beautiful card. And we have our commons. I, I'm still thinking about the Mana Vault. Maybe you guys are still thinking about it. Maybe let's just take a little look at the Mana Bolt one more time. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, the sleeve makes it so that the foiling is a little bit harder to see, but... Oh, man. What a treat. What a treat to be able to open magic cards and experience things like foil mythics. Mana Vaults especially. We've had a really good run of a lot of Foil Mythics lately, and uh, it's been a good time. It's been such a good time, y'all. Alright. Here we go with our next box. Or next pack, rather. A little Foil Faithless Looting. Beautiful. Revelark is our rare. Desperate Ritual. Young Peasy. Caner's Addict. Alright, alright. All sweet cards, all sweet cards. And we have our comments as well. Kodama's Reach! Oh, awful snout. <laughs> I love this card. Awful snout. I feel like he'd be one of those cards that like is like if there's ever like an adventuring group or a questing group, you'd always have one guy who's like an awful snout. And he talks like 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 he has something in his snout and he's just like, come on guys, let's let's go do this thing. Guys, I'm hungry. Awful snout. Maybe I'm uh, generalizing too much. Oh, I'll just keep going. That that was a little bit too excessive, I think. You know, I don't want him to get bullied, but a lot of TV shows have that guy, you know what I mean? Like, a little bit needy, a little bit lonely, a little bit nerdy, a little bit dorky, a little bit of everything, but not, like, the, the star of the show. And he always gets made fun of. So, I'll keep it to myself. Oh! Another mythic! Bitter Blossom. Bitter, bitter, bitter Blossom. Oh, man. Beautiful. Gorgeous art. Look at that. Wow. This box has been really special. This box has really been special. And we have a Fiend Hunter, Urban Evolution, Anger. Let me grab the other, the other mythic. We've already hit um we've already hit three mythics and a foil mythic, so I don't expect any more, but hey, you never know. You never know if the distribution of these cards. You can always get an extra mythic. We do have Six more packs, so let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. All right, here we have our ooze token, a mammoth umbra, and a lava claw reaches. All right, all right. Keep doll, living lore, snake umbra. Got our comments, of course. All right, here we go. Here we go. Five packs left. Are we gonna see that other mythic? 
And you know what? We still have a box topper, which is insane. I think that's just insane. We're doing so well. We're doing so well. All right. Foil basket. Oh. A noble higher arc as well? This box? Let me grab the tutor. I'm going to put all the, the fun cards over here. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. And I like the print card stock quality of this a little bit more than like the Modern Masters 2 print. Oh man, what a box! What a box! Oh, I didn't even sleep that bit. Oh no, 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 no! Don't fall on the floor on me. Okay, all right. I was really careful. I was really careful. Card is still pristine. Still pristine. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Just kind of freaked out over there. All right, let's go ahead and put a sleep on this. And wow. Oh no, higher art too. Forgot that the box even had that. And it's a rare? It's not even a mythic? Jeez. Oh, wait. <laughs> I've done this before, but... Uh, the rest of the packs. Slippery Bogle. Lab Maniac. That's like a buck or two. That card's still, still seeing a lot of play. And we have our commons. Alright, alright, alright. So far, so great. Alright. So, four packs and we still have the box hopper. Oh, Blissful Bash. What a time! Oh, Citizen Token! I forgot that they printed this. Ah, oh, this must. Ah, oh, Vacation Crier Citizen Token. That is beautiful, gorgeous art. Michael Felipe. Of course, it was done by. Foil the Monitor Tutor with the. Ah! Oh! What? what? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'll be pricing this later, and I have a feeling that we did well. I have a. This is like if we wanted a. Of all the foils that we could get, oh. Let's, let's go ahead and put this in a sleeve and then we'll talk later. Jeez! These are like, you know what's amazing is the, the reason why I get excited is because I know these are the, the more valuable ones because these are also the box topper potential cards. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, Rhea Dawnbringer. Of course, we have our Uncommons, Umbrio Rights, uh, circular, circular Logic, and we do have our Commons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Just put the Commons in the foil section. I'm so excited. I'm absolutely stoked with this box. It has been an amazing box so far. I can't wait to finish up the rest of the packs. And I'm just like shaking with excitement. What is going to be in this box hopper? What? What could it possibly be? A little foil Skywing Aven. Spoils of the vault. All right, we talked about this before. The dude. The, may he rest in peace with that helm. All right. Murderous Redcap. Conflagrate. Emancipation Angel. Wingsteed Rider, and we got our commons. Oh, Faithless Looting Action. All right, still two more packs. Two more packs. Uh, I would, you know, at this point, why not another Mythic? And a Foil Rare to boot, you know? A little Homunculus, Staunch Hearted Warrior, and a Maelstrom Pulse. All right, all right. Miss Veil Plains, Jin, and Blast of Genius. And then we got our commons. All right, all right, okay. One more pack and then we get to the box topper. Yes! All right, let's do this. Oh, so excited. What a box, what a box. Thank you, Blissful Bash again for, oh, a foil rare again! Foil creeping tar pit. Oh, and I think that's one of the better man lands as well. It's definitely seeing more play than most of the other man, land, man lands, just because of the fact that it is only three mana to activate and it's unblockable. So, the, you know, you you don't care about your opponent's board and it's really good at, you know, wiping out Planeswalkers. And a Talran, Sky Summoner. All right, all right. Not too shabby. Of course, Benful Rebirth. Ah, oh, Seth McKinnon. Golgari Thug. That's like a buck or two. Devoted Druid. Same thing. Like a buck or two. Okay, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and put these uncommons in the uncommon pile. And, yeah. The rest of the commons. It's... Box Topper time! Box Topper time! Box Topper time! Alright. Okay, hopefully I didn't annoy too many people with my excitement. Today has been a really good day. I, um, one of the things I did was I shipped about, oh gosh, maybe I'll just put a picture of it, but like two cartloads of goodies. All my sponsors should have tracking by now, except for like one, I think. Uh, but I messaged that person. Oh, the Box Topper? A foil Maelstrom Pulse. All right, all right. I, I got carried away. I was like, I, I, I kind of flipped it while I was talking to the camera, and then I realized, wait, I've already uh, shown it to the uh, other cam. 
Okay, okay. I don't think this is the most valuable of all the box toppers, but still. It's a box topper. Has that cool extended art. Oh man. This has been a just a joy. Just a joy for, for me. Um I'm sure Blissful Bash is probably watching this and he got excited as well. And we're just here to, to just really just entertain you guys. We're trying our best. So give you know a little thumbs up if you like this video. Go check out Blissful Bash. Maybe I'll put a little link here, a little card for him. And um, yeah, what a great time. Stay tuned to the next one. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing?